Right, let's look at a circuit breaker then. So you'll probably in your home have a box that looks like this on the left. So lots of switches on it, and all of those little switches are circuit breakers. Now let's have a look at what actually happens. So electric current flowing around your home happily, and it would be a small electric current that if there was nothing wrong, everything would be working absolutely fine. If there was something broken in your home or suddenly there was an electricity surge and too much electric current flowed, which potentially could be dangerous and it could be caused by a fault in one of your appliances, then the electric current would be enough to turn on the electromagnet, which would attract an iron lever to it, and then the contacts would spring open, which would break the circuit. An iron lever would be used again because it's a soft magnetic material and so it won't keep its magnetism. Then what you would do is you'd press the reset switch uh, everything would go back to normal once you'd fixed the appliance, whatever it was that was causing the problem. Now circuit breakers have kind of replaced fuse boxes. Fuses are thin bits of metal that you have to replace over and over again if there's a fault. Circuit breakers are a lot easier because you can just press a button and they don't have to be replaced. The other advantage of circuit breakers is that they can detect a much smaller change in the electric current, which means that it makes the whole system a lot safer.